started choking. Yo, did you see that speaker on this? Bro, this is like a stereo speaker. Holy cow. I can't believe this right now. Okay, now I need to get this motherboard out. I think we could just pull it out. I mean, I don't honestly care about the mother. Yeah, we could just pull it out. But now it's stuck. Oh no, it, it's going up. It's going up. It's going up. Hold down the, the screen. Oh, the power cord. There we go. Here's the speaker. Oh, wow. Now there's a, wait, wait. What is this right here? Are you kidding me? Is that's no way that's the IR. Oh my god, that totally is. That's for the remote. It's right. I don't know if you could see that. I can. It's just a purple dot. I'm what if I just no. Oh. What's up everyone? Electronic <laughs> search here. And vacuum search on this beautiful CRT. Now some, okay, that's enough messing around. Let me get this garbage, uh, actually that's a bad idea. I will just go out and throw that thing out. Okay, now that we got the motherboard out and pretty much the whole entire CRT, you know what this is? Time for the bill. First of all, let me get the CRT and put it in a good spot. Get this cord off of it there. What is... This is like some charge for the CRT or something. Look at... Uh, do you guys know that kind of connector? It connects right here into the motherboard. If you know what kind of connector this is... Tell me in the comments below. It's this one right here, this gray one. Right here. Right next to my finger. Those two pins sticking out. Now that motherboard's pretty small. And this CR Oh my god, that this CRT got heavy. I need to wipe this thing down before taking it to a place where oh um, I need to disconnect this. Now, my cat, uh, escaped from the room when I went to get my scissors and gloves and all these magazines. She decided to, is, the, is this a spring? Oh, I got it stuck to... You know what? I'll keep this spring, but I'm not going to keep the the wire itself. I, I'll keep that. I'm not keeping this. There. Where's... Oh. Toss that by the motherboard. Toss that over there. Okay. Let me get this tube. Wait. There's something in here. There's some kind of powder. No? Huh. Okay. I'm gonna get the CRT. I'm gonna put it right here. There we go. Or actually, that's where the Dell monitor is gonna go. Push it over there. Actually, let's push it over there. There we go. Uh, no, keep going. Yep, right there, right by my speaker. The same goes with this TV wire. 
We're actually, I'll keep the TV wire over here. Let me get this plastic out of the way. You know, I, sh I should keep this for more electronic search videos. Just, hello guys. I should keep this. I'm still thinking on it. I don't know. Oh, let me get the, all the screws out. Let me guys tell you the model number. The model number is ST4130. Again, repeating myself. ST4130. That's the CRT. Now, I could do this. Uh oh, oh no, I got all the glass out of the tube. Let me just toss all that glass on here. Of this plastic and then I'll just throw everything out how it is where's the fourth screw I lost the fourth screw it's still in here no it's gone oh no I think I lost the screw oh there it is found it Keeping the, uh, the spring. Okay, let me just clear and clean all this mess up. All right, I just got done cleaning everything up. And, uh, yeah. So I just got done cleaning everything up. I got all the screws on this side. Actually, there's a little piece of, ju uh, piece of junk right there, or garbage. <laughs> Set this motherboard uh, with the CRT tube, and then I'm gonna have to clean up, clean up, and vacuum up this side too. Now, just look at my gloves from that CRT assembly. This right here has a hole in it, two holes, and covered in dirt could see my finger right there yeah when you're disassembling CRTs be careful and wear gloves when you do that kind of stuff I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I mean uh, it's just a, a, a wire I mean I could cut this off with the plug but I don't where's we go uh, keep that right there and where's my garbage sick oh right here with all the newspapers and the rest in there my screwdriver over there unplug the Dyson vacuum cleaner uh, bring this Dyson vacuum cleaner over here and yes you guessed it it's time for the bad dog, right here. So let's get this power cord out. I'll hook this up in a second. First of all, I need to get the CRT in the middle of the room. There we go, I just did my little frog dance right there. Now sadly, we won't have a, a VGA a VGA device to connect this up like a v Windows 10 XP Windows XP computer or uh, a tower I mean uh, this thing let me just say something real quick this thing I don't want to have it plugged in for too long I'm just gonna close the blinds because the CRT is kind of darkened when it's it's first time booting up 
I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm going to plug it out right when the CRT starts. Because, uh, um, the, when I hooked it up to my Sony Vio computer tower, everything was fine. The CRT had a good picture, everything worked after, I think, when Windows Vista booted up. I think the, yeah, when Windows Vista booted up, right when it got to the user's screen, the, com the monitor CRT shut off, and it started showing a yellow light. Now, it's not power saving mode. Why would a computer monitor go into power saving mode right when Windows Vista starting? Makes no sense. Does it? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn it on, unplug it right, right when the CRT starts. So yeah. Don't do okay. I'm gonna move it down all the way over here because I just wanna unplug it right away. Again, I'm not going to have a VGA device, even though the, the thing's going to be turned on for like one second and it's turned off. Hopefully it still works. It's, it could blow up. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't. So I'm going to do this really fast. So far we're going at 45 minutes already, and let me get everything set up. Okay, like I said, I'm going to close the blinds. It's going to be pretty dark in here, not really. I think you could see the CRT turn on. I'm kind of scared for this one. Like I said, I've always wanted a CRT. But I don't always want to turn it on, even if it's at home. I, I could turn it on outside, but I don't know why. I mean, we could try. I choose to do it outside. Okay. go guys that was that CRT on hopefully you saw that I don't know if you did but once I heard that crack from the from the yoke I unplugged it right away hopefully you saw that I'm sorry for all the uh, sunlight in the CRT screen I don't know if you saw that because I wasn't looking in the screen I was just focusing on pulling that plug back out of the, of the, the CRT. So anyways, let's take these dirty gloves off now. Whew, sweaty hands. This was a very good experiment. We got the Sumponic TV out. Rest in peace. Go ahead and write that in the comments. And now again, sorry for the sunlight and the CRT screen. I don't know if you saw it, but if you could hear in the background, my neighbors were next door. They were outside grilling some hot dogs or something. So you can't really hear the CRT. How it's like bulking in the yoke. It was like striking the voltage, high voltage, into the suction cup and releasing the CRT to produce the RGB no signal entering power saving mode screen. And there. Yeah, I know. I, I have a lot of stuff about CRTs. I might make a whole video about that on my main channel. 
on my electronic search channel, of course, it's electronics, so it's, of course, going to be on electronic search, and then, uh, yeah, oh, and if you're wondering why I did this on vacuum search too, I just wanted to see, so, uh, if my subscribers on the vacuum search are not subscribed to my electronic search, they could still see it, even if uh, both of them, so, yeah, and it, even because that Dyson vacuum cleaner was there, that doesn't mean it w it's going to be in vacuum search, so, I am sweating hot right now, it's very hot outside, and yeah. So that's all I gotta say for today's video. Yes, I do still have the tube and the motherboard from the Symponic. I just, uh, when I was going out, I decided to leave the little screen for like more electronic search videos. And then just, yeah, and yeah. But the back, the back has to go. I'm sorry, but the back is all cracked up and yeah. I'm still thinking about the CRT. Maybe I'll leave the CRT. Maybe I'll throw it out, add it to my collection in the future. So when I'm going to be like 80 years old, I could look back at that CRT. That's probably not even going to be there anymore. It's probably going to be garbage. And that's just going to bring my back to my childhood as what I am right here. Taking apart my first CRT TV. And turning on the CRT TV. Okay, not a CRT TV. A, a CRT computer monitor. But that's the same like a TV. It's just the computer monitor. And sorry that I didn't have any computer to plug it in. I just didn't want that boom to happen again. And that's it. So let's bring in the CRT, clean everything else up, and then we'll end the video. Okay, I, I didn't get the Dell back. It's in my office right now. But anyways, this was a long video. And let me show you the tube again real quick. Here it is. Again, if you can hear that the... hear that I don't know if that's like some powder from the CRT but anyways that's the CRT again the fun fun I CRT and uh, the motherboard with the suction cup in the and the rest of the TV components. Again, this is what this was kind of my first time actually removing a CRT from a TV. Let's get this speaker back in its spot. And this was a long video, but anyways. Stay tuned, subscribe to Vacuum Search if you're on here, and then to Electronic Search for more funny videos, or electronic videos, or vacuum videos. See you in the next video. If I, if I can even post a video on the Vacuum Search. Anyways, that was today's news on www or actually yeah uh, dot m dot youtube dot com slash electronic search thank you